Oak Clifton Park, the next place to host a wooden art display that has traveled mm -hmm. the country telling the story of its artists. Our Cassie Hudson joins us one more time with this week's Off the Beaten Path this morning. Cassie. Good morning. It took the artist 20 years to complete the exhibit you're about to see in this week's Off the Beaten Path. Inspired by his faith, there is much more than meets the eye when it comes to these wooden works of art. Within the walls of St. Edward's the Confessor in Clifton Park, newly arrived treasures waiting to be explored. The passion here is a nine panel exhibit, so you need a lot of space. 30 wooden panels depicting various verses from the Bible are on display as part of a free traveling exhibit called My Father's Love. The panels are made up of more than two million small wooden diamonds. This is the story of Ed Lancer. It is an amazing story of how someone persevered. He was disabled and homeless and he relied on his community. The artist used more than 150 different types of wood, all donated to create the wooden mosaics. He never painted or stained the murals. He never drew or sketched anything and everything just came from him. If you look closely, his story is hidden in the murals, like the names of his eight children, words hiding in plain sight, and a couple small wooden squares he included as a nod to his father. It took Ed 20 years to complete the full exhibit. It was always his vision, dream, and desire that everyone have access to view his work free of charge. After Ed passed away, a foundation was started to preserve, he called them his children, the murals. From there, they went to Liberty, Illinois, and they were there for the last seven years. They traveled to Clifton Park back in August, where they will be on display for six months. While the images depict biblical scenes, the art exhibit was made for any and everyone, children included. I think it's all about the art first, and just the marquetry itself is just a beauty to be seen. Now, if you're ready to check out that free exhibit, tours do take place Thursday throughout the day. We have all the times listed and the address to get there on our website at news10.com. Don't forget to visit that off the beaten path page under that community tab. All that good information waiting for you there.